Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course aspects of biochemical engineering. So, we are almost uh, coming to the uh, end of, of our uh, course and uh, this topic uh, today uh, uh, I have chosen that is the economic analysis of the biochemical process. As you know that uh, this is the major concern about the, about the industrial processes because whatever thing we develop that uh, we want to apply it uh, uh, but that you know that should be economical and uh, if it is not economical we cannot uh, use for uh, for the benefit of the society so question comes how you can do the economic analysis of the processes and it is something similar to the chemical process also but uh, let us see how we can do that now any industry whenever we operate we come across two type of expenditure one is the, what we call fixed expenditure and then we have the operating expenditure. The fixed expenditure on the basis of the installation of the plant and other things that you know for you have some kind of installation cost and uh, that uh, money usually we take it from the bank as a loan. So, we have principal amount, we have interest that we shall have to pay, <coughs> pay uh, for, uh, per month or, uh, or and then uh, for operation of the industry we have uh, different uh, other operating cost. Operating cost comprises of the maybe the raw material cost, maybe the other utility cost, different type of utilities we have. We require electricity, we require steam generation, we require maybe the uh, soft water and you know that air compressor that you know different type of utility that we require and uh, plus we have the manpower that we have all these things you have to consider and then our output is our product so we, if you know that how much product we are producing per day and we know that how much money we are spending per day so uh, if if the if, if the cost of the product is more as compared to um, uh, that money we spend in the industry we call it profitable industry now if we if the if it is other way if the, the cost of the uh, product is less as compared to expenditure then we consider as a sick industry. So, then let us see how we can do the analysis the do the economic analysis of the biochemical processes. The first thing that is important that what is called economic assessment the basic object objective of a fermentation process is to yield a product which is uh, pre predictable and economically viable. So, this is very important that you know our objective should be that it should be economically viable. For developing such successful commercial bio process following criteria should be met. What is the low capital investment provided mm, uh, that uh, the equipment is reliable and can be used range of fermentation process. Let me tell you very simple that suppose if you use uh, the lot of lot of equipment that is already available in the industry the different uh, fabricators so if you use those equipment obviously it will be very very uh, little bit cheaper if you use the custom made system naturally it will be very costly so that you have to think over that what uh, what uh, what should be the uh, material of construction what uh, kind of reactor that we use that is very important that is the low copy to capital investment and cheap raw materials when you call cheap raw materials not only with respect to availability uh, uh, availability also very important suppose if I, uh, the material is cheap and it is not available and it is no good so uh, so usually uh, we found that if you have multiple choice of substrate then availability of the material will be very good high yielding of strain of microorganisms should be used and I told you that industry we use the industrial strain. What is the industrial strain that can have the higher yield? I told you that you know that if the concentration of product is more 
then our recovery cost will be less. So, for what what is our desirable thing that our concentration of product should be as high as possible and that and, and that should be consistent. It is not that one batch you have, you have some product concentration, second batch you have less concentration that is no good for our process. So, that we shall have to look into. Low labor cost and use of automation whenever possible. I told you that you know if you the batch process is very easy to operate and uh, and we do not don't require much of skill for the operation of the batch process. But the, what is the disadvantage of the batch process? The yield, the productivity is very less as compared to the continuous process. So, we always look for continuous process. In the continuous process, our productivity is very high and not only our productivity very high, but also that uh, the manpower requirement is drastically reduced, it is reduced to almost one tenth. So, that is that is the one of the important factor. The recovery and purif purification procedure should be simple and rapid. That, uh, that is also very important, how simple we can separate it out the material that product and minimize the effluent discharge. Because if you mm, I can I can take the example of bio steel process. But if you if you look at the lot of uh, because if you India has more than 250 distillery and uh, most of the distillery they are operated in the batch mode. In the batch mode, we uh, usually uh, we if the alcohol concentration is uh, seven to eight percent, we have found that 13 liters of effluent is produced per liter of alcohol production. But you know that now if you increase the concentration of product, uh, obviously the effluent production also drastically reduce and uh, then we uh, bio steel process is such a process it, 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 uh, they have a recirculation device and through which uh, th they prove that uh, this uh, amount of effluent generation is reduced to one tenth. So, this is very important and heat and power should be used efficiently the how efficiently we use the heat and power minimum space requirement that is also very important and co is complied with safety guideline and the regulation. These are the all things you, we shall have to take into consideration for the economic assessment. Now, if you look at the uh, in the bioengineering process, first we have the flow diagram and uh, then we find out the what is the equipment price and volume of mass of the product that we find out from the raw materials utility, labor and consumables, this we, we, we find out what is the, the operating cost, the operating cost we have all this factored, capital cost will be uh, this, uh, this one, this is equipment cost and uh, that will mostly comes on the, you know, not only equipment in the including the reactor, pump, valve, all this thing included all the um, downstream processing processes that comes under the capital cost. Now, outcome of the economic assessment, if you look at the estimation of capital cost that we shall have to, to build a new plant that we shall have to do, the estimation of the operating cost, combination of capital and operating cost to provide the several types of composite values reflecting the process profitability. I told you the capital cost and uh, when you do uh, make the any kind of capital cost, we take the money from the bank and then we have two things, we have principles as well interest both you have to pay per month that you have to add with the operating cost and, and then match with your cost of the product. And selection of the base process by competing alternative, estimation of economic value of, of making process changes and modification to an existing process and, and quantification of uncertainty when the evaluating the economic potential of the process. Now, cost breakup, as I pointed out, the preliminary economic evaluation of a project that uh, uh, in manufacturing of biological product usually involve the capital investment, operating cost and analysis uh, of profitability. These are the three things we shall have to do with. I have, I have some example at the end, I shall show you how we can do that. Gauss breakup can be, can help in observing the biggest potential saving. And depending upon the cost breakup, development of the component uh, and th that contributes most of the cost of the product can be performed. As for example, 
that if the raw materials are a major part of the total cost, then the media and microbial strain improvements research should uh, form major part on a development program. So, this you have to find out which plays crucial role in the, in the cost distribution process. Now, here example of the cost breakup, we have this table gives you the some information that in case of beer making industry, what is the raw materials contribute and other, other labor and supervision, fixed charge, maintenance charge, how is contributed. Then acetic acid industry, how it is contributed. This is the citric acid industry, how it is contributed. The uh, then notes uh, notes protein. Uh, this uh, this is single cell protein. How it is penicillin, how it is there. TPA, how it is there. That that distribution has been this is shown here. The market potential uh, is uh, very important. The before designing the product uh, production plant the market potential of the product should be assessed because this is very important. So, uh, uh, the three category of products uh, we discussed at the beginning, the low value high volume products where uh, that you know that cost of the product is uh, 1000 to uh, 10,000 per tons uh, dollar US dollar, the solvent biomass and high fructose corn syrup. Then we have um, we have medium value, medium volume products. We have 10,000, uh, 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 5 dollar, US dollar per ton. We have organic acid, amino acid and biopolymer. High value, low volume products, we have 10 to the 5 to 10 to the power 7 per tons. We have enzyme, vitamins, antibiotics and, and vaccine. So, market potential we shall have to find out. Then uh, for the capital cost, how you do the analysis, the cost of the capital is investment a small facility using the range uh, 30, 30 to 60 million dollar, uh, whereas for the large facility we required 100 to 250 million US dollar. The main includes the first is the your, your equipment, second is the installation, third instrumentation, building cost, labor equipment. Uh, laboratory equipment and the electric and other requ requirement. So, these are the different things that we comes under the capital cost. Now, capital cost estimation from the uh, uh, from the table, you, you see that this is the penicillin estimated of 5 uh, 225,000 uh, liter fermenter with axillaries equipment. This is the this is the how this cost just percentage of the total is given. Process equipment is 23.6 percent. Installation is 5.2. Uh, insulation is 1.9. In instrumentation uh, instrument is 2.7. Piping is 11.8. Electrical is 15.8. Building is 21. Point. So different cost distribution is given here. It can be observed that equipment costs are crucial in determining the overall cost of the process. The empirical relationship between cost and size of the equipment is like this, cost 1 and by cost 2 equal to size 1 by size 2 to the power n, where n is the scale factor. This is how this equation has been built up. Other factors that affect the equipment cost is the material of construction. I told you that in the fermentation industry, most, mostly we use uh, SS316 as a <coughs> construction material, instrumentation provided with the equipment that also more in, in, instrument we use more involvement will be the cost to involvement will be there. Then operating cost depends on other several factors, operating cost includes the sum of all expenses like raw materials, labor, utilities, waste disposal and overhead cost. Uh, dividing the annual operating cost by the annual production rate yield and unit production cost uh, is the dollar per kg. Uh, for uh, genetically modified product, the basic operation cost uh, 10 to 13 to 30 percent of e, uh, each increase in contaminant level. The other factors contributing to the operating cost is the sterilization, aeration, hesitation, water usage and recycling and product recovery costs. Particularly, I want to tell you that uh, in case of uh, low value, high volume products, if you can recycle our uh, effluent, 
to the uh, process that water requirement of the process will be reduced drastically the what the, the biosteel process uh, the deals with. Now, operating cost, uh, this is the contribution, this is raw materials, this is labor, consumables, uh, laboratory um, uh, um, the quality control and the wa wa waste disposal, utilities, equipment dependent and the miscellaneous. This is the uh, uh, most of the, this is the direct expenditure and this is the indirect expenditure. This is the percentage the contribution of this operating cost has been given here. Now, the operating cost, uh, the raw materials accounts uh, the cost of all uh, fermentation media, this is uh, where this is important, this is the fermentation media recovery of chemicals and cleaning media that um, then for community biochemicals like uh, this, uh, the ethanol, the cost of the fermentation media is more significant. High value products, the buffer use for the product recovery equipment cleaning can be the major uh, part of the material cost. The table provides the commonly used raw materials in the biochemical industry. The price of the raw materials can vary widely depending on the required purity. So, this is the raw materials that we have. We have carbon source, we have nitrogen source, source and other materials that we have. And this is the, this is the uh, different uh, uh, concentration that we use and this is the price, uh, how, how much price is contributed per kg of product formation, per kg of this uh, product formation that has been given here. Now, profitability analysis that I, I was talking about the end of the day that we look for the profit. Now, with the estimates of capital investment, operating cost and revenue of a project, the profitability and attractiveness from an inv investment point of view can be assessed. There are various uh, measures for assessing the profitability which includes the gross margin return of a, on investment and uh, payback time which are, which are uh, calculated. Now, as for example, suppose when we, uh, we go for any kind of uh, for that you know uh, equipment that particularly reactor, we always find, uh, find out the life of the fermenter. We suppose life of the fermenter is 10 years. So, um, whatever money we have uh, the, that uh, money we spend for the, uh, the, the fermenter that is to be recovered within 10 years. That is, the, that is very important. That is the payback time is, is there. The, the cross profit will be net annual revenue, annual revenue mostly comes by selling the product, annual operating cost and the minus is the recovery cost. The net profit is, will be the gross profit minus income tax minus depreciation. So, gross margin is the gross profit by revenue and uh, the, that ROI equal to net profit by total investment into 100. ROI is the return of investment and payback time is the total investment by net profitability. And all variables are average over the lifetime of the project. Now, let me give you a case study so that you know the things will be little bit clear to you all. Uh, I, have, I have taken the example of the landfill gas generation process. Now, landfill gas generation process is found to be very profitable business at the western country is concerned. Uh, what they do? They take the city garbage and dump it in the downland, you know that uh, suppose this is the downland and then what they do that um, uh, that you know this uh, downland uh, they can they can uh, they, they stabilize and they produce methane this uh, and this is the kind of technique that i i want to show you how you can make the conventional ground uh, gr that landfill gas generation process very fast now this is the landfill area here um, we we can we can we can we can spot the acidogenic organism here so that you know that uh, the de degradation of the solid material to organic acid will take place this is acid recovery unit you can recycle back again and again until we that uh, solid material stabilized and then this uh, liquid that uh, that uh, volatile fatty acid you pass through the methanogenic re reactor to produce methane and carbon dioxide and this if you do this you can reduce the time of fermentation process drastically the age of of, uh, of any kind of landfill is uh, is about 5 to 10 years 
and whereas we have found that if you do like this, we can make the solid stabilization within 14 days, 40 days. So, it is, it is very much uh, attractive. Now, uh, this is the this is how the landfill uh, process is operated uh, in the landfill. This is the downland of this process, and uh, here this uh, truck comes in the weighing machine. We take the weight, and it is unloaded here, and then again come go the truck goes there. The difference will give you how much uh, uh, so that waste material the, here they have uh, the, the, the downloaded. And then you you do the uh, shredding, shredding, shredding machine. Shredding machine means it's degraded into the small pieces. And then this is the magnetic separator where we can separate the iron type of material. We get the ferrous type of material out, and then we put it in the uh, in the landfill. Now there is an international sanitary law. International sanitary law says that uh, whenever you put any kind of organic waste in the landfill this should be covered with 6 inch clay layer uh, within 24 hours. Otherwise, the uh, gas will be generated from the solid material and pollute the atmosphere that is the undesirable that, uh, that they follow. And when then, then what you do that when it is totally filled up, then this is covered with about 18 inch uh, thick uh, this uh, uh, clay layer. So, the, just to ensure no gas will go out from the system. Then we we make some kind of well here, and uh, we can we can we can what we can do, uh, we can we can spread the acidogenic culture here, and and here here it it has been shown this acidogenic culture spread on here, and then it uh, react the all the acidogenic culture use the organic material and convert to the acid, it falls to through the acid digester, and then it recycle back there, and this acid finally passed through a methanogenic reactor and produced methane and carbon dioxide. Now, this is this is in practice uh, in the landfill, this is the all the pipeline, this is the well I was talking about and this well we can we can apply it, uh, this uh, methanogenic uh, formation we can do in the well itself. If you if you apply it any kind of vacuum in this line, then all the gas present in the um, landfill that will come in the pipeline and then we have some gas purification unit here. We purify the gas and, and, and send it, uh, send it uh, for, for uh, electricity generation. This is the gas turbine and from that we can produce the electricity. Now, this process there, there is a, there is a, uh, there is the analysis of the cost of this particular process. Uh, the, the, this has been done and I want to give you some uh, example that how they have done that. This is the rapid rise of the cost of the energy prompted the increased interest of recovery utilization of the landfill gas. Now, for lawn fields, uh, so what are the capital cost we have? We shall have the compressor or gas chiller that will cost you uh, 103,000 uh, $103, dollar. Then wells and header, this is uh, 300. Uh, Seventy-six thousand dollar discharge pipeline, thirty-five thousand. Then site box is ten thousand. Instrumentation and control, one hundred thousand uh, US dollar. Electrical service is twenty thousand US dollar. Engineering is sixty-five thousand. Total is coming seven thousand um, seven hundred nine uh, thousand US dollar. This is the capital cost. How they have calculated, and then. The estimated annual operating cost, what they have found, the, what is the electric power consumption on the basis of they have found out this is 90,000 US dollar. Compressor maintenance, it is 5,200 US dollar, 5 percent of the total cost. Maintenance labor is 8 hours per day at a rate of 15 dollar per, uh, per hour. It is coming about 43,800 dollar. Then administration and testing on the basis of 2500 dollar per month it is coming about 30000 the amortization amortization is the 7 years at the 12% interest that is uh, coming about uh, this uh, 1155400 uh, US dollar the total operating cost is coming about uh, um, 324 
1400 US dollar. So, this is the previous one is the capital cost, this is the operating cost. Now, when we mix together, so we have uh, direct uh, sell, we, uh, we sell with by selling the gas. How much gas we produce? This is on the basis of 32,240 cubic meter per day and um, that uh, calorific value is 21 megajoule per cubic meter and, and uh, price is uh, 2.32 2, 2 US dollar per gigajoule. An estimated cost is based on this, uh, this point uh, six two dollar per gigajoule that we if we calculate um, this is the direct sale we will get and there is a another cost another cost that is there what we call entitlement cost entitlement cost is since the this is used the waste material the municipality give some kind of revenue to some kind of money to the uh, companies for uh, safeguarding the environment this is uh, what you call entitlement cost and total is coming like this so this is this is the benefit, this is the total money we are we are getting and this is the money total money we are sp the spending and so the net profit is coming about 329600 this is how we can do the calculation the above table it has been found that total investment money can be recovered within less than 3 years so i told you the age of the landfill usually 5 to 10 years that means remaining two years to uh, two years to uh, seven years, they can run with profit. Now there is another uh, another enzymatic that uh, pure system that uh, we work out that how you can find out the economy of the process. Let us see. This is little bit different as compared to what we have done in the previous um, uh, part. The, an enzyme is used to convert the substrate to a commercial product in a 1600 liter batch reactor v max of the enzyme is given km is given km is the michaelis maintained constant substrate concentration at the start of the reaction is 3 gram per liter according to the stoichiometry of the reaction the conversion of 1 gram of product give 1 gram of substrate produces 1.2 gram of product the cost of operating of the reactor including labor maintenance energy and other utility estimate to be uh, $4,800 per day. The cost of recovering of the product depends on the extent of substrate conversion and the resulting concentration of the product in the final reaction mixture. For conversion between 70 to 100 percent, the cost of downstream processing can be approximate by this equation. This is the downstream processing cost where C is the cost of dollar per kg of product treated and X is the percentage of substrate conversion. The market price of the product is $750 per kg. Currently, the enzyme reactor is operated 75 percent conversion. However, it is proposed to increase this to 90 percent. Estimate the effect this will um, have on the economy of the process. So, the problem is very simple that you know that we are operating uh, the process at the 75 percent substrate con conversion and now we the industry want to increase the conversion to 90 percent. Now question comes if we increase the 90 percent conversion is it possible to increase the economy of the process because that we shall have to find out in this problem. So let us see how we can find out as I pointed out whenever you solve any kind of problem first you have to jot down that what are the uh, data given. The volume is uh, say 1600 liters, the Vmax value is given, KM value given, S0 value operating cost is given and market price of the product is given. Now 75 percent substrate conversion is there, the, that means uh, 75 percent what is the S, uh, what is the S value that we have, S, 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 S value will be for 75 percent that means 25 percent will be remaining 0.25 into S0. S is the how much 3 gram per liter. So, S will be 70.75 grams per liter. So, so for here uh, for S0 this is 3 gram per liter to, to convert to 0.75 gram per liter question comes what is the batch time is required. This batch time we have calculated this equation this uh, 
correlation already we de developed before. I don't like to solve it again. So we can put the values k m v max s s zero by s. We can find out the batch time. This is four point eight to one hours. Now, uh, therefore, the operating cost will be what uh, operating uh, operating cost we can we can easily find out that uh, um, how you can find out the per day that uh, how, how the, then this is per day am I right? So, uh, this hour per day will be by divided by 24 you can this so you can find out that 962 is the operating uh, that cost for the per batch. Now, the cost of downstream processing will be this this equation is given if we put the value you can find out the uh, the downstream processing cost. The mass of the product form is determining the mass of the substrate consumed. That is the mass of substrate consumed, how you can calculate S0 minus S into V, S0 is, is, is 3 minus 0 0.75 and what is the volume? 1600, so 3.6 kg. Mass of the product because we have already find that 1 gram of substrate wood is 1.2 gram of product. So, this is the amount of product we will get. Therefore, downstream processing cost will be what? This is per kg we have 130.25 uh, dollar per kg. So, you multiply that we will find this. So, the revenue from selling the product will be what? This into this am I right? Because per kg product uh, the cost is 75 dollars. So, you can find out 3 1240 dollars we can recover. Now, <coughs> therefore, uh, but the gross profit uh, 75 percent is, is the revenue is uh, the uh, 3240 minus operating cost this minus downstream processing. So, it is coming like this. Now, similar type of cost analysis we try to perform when we have 90 percent substrate conversion and then we find the batch time requirement will be 6.84 and is 6.84 then operating cost increases to this and then we can find out the downstream processing cost is this and uh, then we find out that what is the substrate consumed we find out this that increase to this and the product value also increase. Now, to the product cost is uh, downstream processing cost is this and product value is this. So, revenue will be uh, how much we are getting 1868. Now, if you if you look at look at before we, we how much we got 1715 now what we are getting one 1868 so so thus the gain of the power batch by increasing the substrate conversion is uh, it's a dollar 153 so, uh, so then the gain of one the 9% increase in the gross benefit that we that we observe because you know that uh, that this is how we can analyze the pro process that find out the economic uh, that you know uh, viability of the process. So, this is a very interesting problem and uh, through which we can find out by increasing the conversion efficiency how much profit we are going to get in the some cases not necessarily all the cases the, your profit will be increased some cases the profit will may decrease also. So, in that case we may, we prefer to maintain the word um, uh, uh, that conversion efficiency little bit less. So, in this particular uh, lecture I try to do the economic analysis which is appears to be the most important and uh, as for as for biochemical industry is concerned. So, I told you the two type of uh, expenditure we have we have we have capital expenditure we have uh, operating expenditure and uh, and uh, from that we can find out that um, you know, what is the what is the cost involvement of this process and from selling of product we can find out how much uh, that uh, uh, the money will gain out of that and there is some other factors we shall have to consider as per income tax and other things uh, revenue is concerned. So, you, you, when you do the uh, calculation of the profitability of the industry you have to take into consideration of the all the factors and uh, then in, then in we can we can find out uh, how much profit we can have in a particular industrial operation. So, I try to discuss one case study that landfill gas generation process if you operate for 3 years we find that whatever money we spend for this process can be recovered, but age of the landfill is more than 3 years. So, we can run the remaining years with full of profit. 
So, uh, and one one uh, one enzyme one enzyme uh, conversion process, the enzymatic conversion process, I try to discuss, and the, there we find as we increase the conversion efficiency, the profitability of the industry will increase. Thank you very much.